In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to extract a person from an image. We're also going to go over the quick select tool and refine edge feature. We're going to use this picture of three girls for the base picture. Now the first thing I'm going to do is crop out the rest of the image that I don't want and leave just the one girl that I want with a little bit of a buffer on the edges. Then after I do that, what I'm going to do is recrop it and make it larger to incorporate what I'm going to have in the background afterwards. I don't just want this slender picture of a girl. I want a, a, a fuller picture that I can use with my background and everything else I'm going to put in it. So after I recrop it to be larger, I'm going to go ahead and erase or delete the white part and I'm going to put a background image in so I can see what it's going to look like with the background image. To put a background image in, I'm going to go ahead and copy a background image and then I'm going to paste it on top of my regular um, picture of the girl. And then I'm going to transform it if it's not the right size. Control T and then reshape it, resize it to get it so it's, it's filling up the entire picture. Now I'm going to make a copy of the layer of the girl, and I'm going to go ahead and put the background image in between those two layers of the girls and hide the main background layer and just work on the copy layer. We're going to go ahead and select a quick select tool, and we're going to start brushing in the parts of the one girl that we want to keep. Now, if you go over the edge and it selects more than you want, that's fine. Just go ahead and keep on selecting until you have the entire picture selected that you want to keep. And then you can go to the top corner and click on the negative sign, and from there you can remove the parts that you have over-selected. And you can keep on going back and forth from the plus and the minus until you have everything selected that you want. Now we're going to go to the Refined Edge tab, and what this really lets you do is it lets you define the amount of um, pixels and space that you're actually going to be selecting. Now when you use a Select tool, you're selecting a section you want, and everything that's not selected is, is not going to be kept. So Refined Edge lets you refine that or define that edge between what you're removing and what you're keeping. What it's doing now is it's removing what you don't have selected and keeping just what you have selected with your um, Quick Select tool and showing the background shining through. Now once inside the Refine Edge window, you'll see a View Mode or a View Tab. That drop-down menu will show you a lot of different options you have. One is an Overlay. The Overlay kind of reds out what's going to be removed. Another is On Black, which shows black in the background. Same thing with On White, is white in the background. Black and White's nice because it shows um, black being what's going to be removed and white's what's not going to be removed. And it's really nice for defining you know, extra, um, extra effects that you're doing on the edge itself. On Layers is what I like to use because it shows what you're going to have in the background. If you have a background layer and you start refining the edge it'll show you what's going to be coming through from the background to your main picture. Alright now you take your fine edge uh, tool and you go ahead and brush along the side of the image and you'll see that it actually removes more of the um, white or the background on the edge and it kind of well defines that edge. The refine edge tool can be kind of touchy. You have to make sure that the, the target size is really small, your brush size is small. And there's sometimes that you'll have a jagged edge after you try to refine the edge. At that point you have to go and adjust the edge settings to fine tune it to work the way that you really want it to work. Now if you use the refine edge tool and you don't like the way that changed uh, your image, you can always click on uh, the little picture of the brush that says Refine Radius Tool and change it to Erase Refinement Tool, and that will just go in and remove any refinements that you've already made. It's real handy for going back and forth and tweaking the settings. Now, once you're finished actually doing the uh, touch-up on the edges, you can go to the Adjust Edge and do extra refinements. You can do the smoothing, which smooths out the, the difference between both the background and the foreground. Feather it, which, you know, does a feathering effect and how large the pixels that feathering effect is going to be. Contrast is really nice for cutting out extra blurry part images. And Shift Edge is another function that really helps, especially with hair. So if you tweak those back and forth, you find what is a good setting for you. You tweak those around and you'll end up with something that looks really good. Now the last option here is decontaminate colors, and that's if, let's say, your your um, foreground object is standing behind water, and some of the blue in the water shines up and and starts showing in the hair, showing in the edge of the picture as a reflection, refraction. Um, at that point, if you use decontaminate uh, colors, it'll actually remove any of the colors that aren't part of the foreground picture.
You can see by tweaking these settings now that I don't have a glow that's around the outside of the hair, and the hair pretty much shows through what it needs to to show the background image and still look like a regular image that's, that's there. It doesn't look like it's been copied and pasted or cut out. Now it's just a matter of making sure that the background is selected, not the foreground, the background, and go ahead and hit delete. By using our quick select and refine edge tools, we've been able to remove a person from a picture and still have it look pretty natural. Now that I have the girl removed from the original image and inserted onto a new background with a decent blend, I can go ahead and finish up the picture. I'll add a little bit of text in, uh, give it an effect of satin or 3D, and we'll be finished. And thanks for watching another video by Matt Hatter X.